Okay, good morning. Um, this is going to be a fairly quick video this morning. Um, I'm going to be trying to uh, solder or braise a small piece of carbide onto a piece of uh, tool steel here. So it's going to be a new tool bit for the Anderson scraper. And um, so I've I've attempted this several times in the past uh, with limited success. So uh, this time I'm going to braise it I think this time uh, rather than try to silver solder it. I'm thinking that's going to be stronger joint. Um, I'm also using a different type of flux. Um, in the past um, I've used uh, some flux uh, uh, that I use for silver soldering. But this time I've got some flux that uh, I purchased. It's a Harris product I think. Stay silv, but it's a high temperature. Uh, it's a black brazing flux. And uh, since um, I'm going to be using acetylene which seems to work best. And um, I've got a very small uh, tip on this. Um, a few years ago I got rid of all my heavy duty stuff, uh, welding stuff, and I just went to a small Victor, uh, Victor torch. And I got a triple knot tip on here. So hopefully it's not going to be too hot. And I'm going to be able to braise these two elements together and then grind the um, the radius on the end of this which I need and uh, so I'll sit after I get this braised and I don't think you're going to be able to see much in the video as far as the brazing is concerned but um, we'll see and then uh, I've got the camera maybe three or four feet away so hopefully that's all right and then we're gonna I got kind of a makeshift grinder over here that I use I'll have to get it set up so maybe uh, we'll do this little brazing job here and then uh, we'll move to the grinder and get it set up and grind the point on this and in the end we'll give it a try and see if it uh, how it works. So with that um, I'm going to um, I'm going to change the camera angle here for a minute and we'll get started. <coughs> Okay, so I've set up the camera to zoom in on the, uh, the area that I'm going to braise here. And uh, I've got a small piece of brazing rod here. And I'm going to fire the torch up and we're going to see if we can get this heated up. I've got, um, I've got the, the piece of tool steel on a couple of little shims that move it up 20,000 so I can get this piece of carbide uh, centered uh, vertically. The, it, the, these pieces of carbide come in a whole bunch of different sizes but somehow you cannot get it matched up perfectly. In hindsight maybe I could have ordered a little smaller or a little thinner piece of carbide but I think this is going to work just fine. So. Um, Let's see if we can get the torch fired up here and get started here. Um, I think
Okay. We got the we got the brazing done. It didn't come out perfect, but uh, it it's it's sort of okay. It um, it moved it moved on me, and I decided to just disregard that because it it doesn't actually make any difference if it moves or not. You know, it's just kind of over offset over to one side, but that doesn't affect the scraping, and it and it appears to be. Um, you know, pretty solid, I hope. So we're going to test it here in a few minutes. Um, so, so you can see the makeshift grinder I have set up here. And um, I've got my little radius gauge out here. And usually I, get, I, I set these for about three on the gauge. So um, <clears throat> uh, this, this is a makeshift situation I can... <laughs> took me a while to get a setup because I have so many setups for this end of the grinder that I can't keep track of what's what but anyway basically what this is there's a there's a backing plate back here and then there's a, a diamond um, disc on the front and I think this is a fairly coarse diamond disc I don't remember exactly what it is but it might be about a 250 grit or something and um, this, whatever bevel I use, I negative bevel, I, I think it might be about four or five degrees, but anyway, this is, this is uh, made at that angle, so, and uh, so what we're going to do is sharpen this blade on both sides, and I've already, I, already, I had the other wheel on here, and I already sort of got the radius set, so it's just a matter of, uh, you know, running this across here like this, and it takes very little to do that. We want a double edge on this so we can turn it over. And for some reason it doesn't seem to be exactly symmetrical, maybe something to do with uh, well anyway I don't know if you can, you probably can't see that but I got a little ridge in the center, it's not quite in the center which it should be and we've got two very sharp edges to um, to scrape with so with that um, I'm going to rig up something over here so we can test this thing and see how it's working well, I'll shut the camera off. I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, I have a small block of cast iron uh, set up in a little vise on the workmate here. So, uh, the main thing is, is not so much the the sharpening of this or the... I just want to make sure it holds up because I've had them come loose before. This one seems to be pretty solid. So I'm hoping the high temperature flux uh, did a little bit better job. But anyway, if it comes loose, then we failed. If it works, then we didn't. Seems to be holding up. This thing could be protruding up above the vise a little bit. I've got it setting pretty low, but we're not hitting the vise, so we're, we're good. Let's try the other side. Flip it over here.
seems to be holding up just fine. Don't seem to have a problem with it. Well, I'd say at this point we have in success. Oh, there we go. I try to turn this thing around here, but I can't. I can't. I can't figure out where I'm at, and the camera's pointed at such a steep angle. Anyway, so that gives you an idea. Anyway, so um, it looks like um, my brazing job is holding up quite solid. Well, let's see here. Let me zoom out a little bit here. See where I'm at. I'm not. So there I am. I can see myself now. So that uh, seems to work pretty good. Um, like I say, it's not exactly, I didn't get it centered, but that doesn't really make any difference. It was a little smaller uh, lengthwise than it needed to be. It could have been about an eighth of an inch longer piece of carbide. but. Um, one nice thing is, is this these uh, high-speed steel. It's not really high-speed steel. What it is is it's a it's tool steel that's been hardened that you can buy from Anderson, and these are these are fairly inexpensive. So actually, um, this makes a good blank. I've tried to make my own before, and I just had this one laying around. I decided to use it because it really for me I need the carbide on the end of it. So. It, it maybe it would work for scraping aluminum or something like that, but it doesn't work very good for scraping cast iron or steel. So, but it does fit perfectly into their scraper. So that's one nice thing about it. And uh, so with that, uh, I'll call off. And Walter, um, I know you're you're about to do this, and I am assuming you're going to silver solder your carbide blank when you get it in the mail. Um, you, I'm assuming you're gonna silver solder it on. So I don't know. I, I've never. I haven't tried doing the silver soldering before. You know, I've tried. I've only brazed these things on, and I had one come off, and one is still on. I haven't used it very much, but this one seems really solid. So I think maybe the high temperature flux was was a help, since I pretty much need to use the acetylene to get this hot enough to braze it. Anyway, uh, okay, I'll call off now and uh, post this up on uh, YouTube so you can take a look.